Hey, good. Good evening, Maximo. How are you doing? Everything good? All good, sir. Julissa, Maximo, welcome. Everyone, how are you doing? How was your, how was work today? Good evening. Good evening. How was how was work today? Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, you're you're. I think I think uh, your microphone is not working anymore. Cause I can't hear you. What's up? I was in oh, you. <laughs> okay, I got it. Yes, yes, fantastic. Because yesterday I received my my CPU. Until oh, nice. yesterday, I did fix it, and so I worked uh, from my house today. All, all. this oh, really? day, I work here. Yes, 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 and so that's why I feel so good. All right, excellent. And I have class. I'm going to have this class because yesterday I lose because I come here too late and it was raining, you know, and it's very stressful that situation. And now it's different. All right, okay, awesome. I'm very glad to hear that you had Thank a you. very glad to hear that you had a good day. Excellent. How about you, uh, Julissa? Yes. How was your day today? Hi, good evening. Well, I I rest today because I I have flu. You had you had uh you came down you came down with a flu. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. I'm sorry to hear that. But are you feeling better now? Mm, not much better, but. A little bit? Yes, a little bit. All right, all right. Awesome, awesome, very good. Welcome, guys. What about you, Diego? How are you doing? Hey, good evening. Uh, well, today it was, uh, well, again, it was a really stressful day because I have to do some new things to me in my job. So it was a little bit stressed and well, <laughs> uh, I'm good, but I don't know. I need to rest a little bit for that yeah. activities because, well, it was something really hard to me, <laughs> but gotcha. I need to learn a little bit in my work. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Right. So. That's awesome. So today, guys, we're going to go over, well, this for the rest of this week, actually, we're going to go over the rules behind comparisons. OK, so let's get started. Welcome aboard. I'm very glad to see you here. All right. So let's get down to business. OK, so let's go ahead and talk about comparing adjectives and nouns. OK, All right, which is actually um the next topic that we got in the platform. By the way, guys, have you completed uh, section one, two, and the midterm? Well, no, the midterm comes after section th three, right? So have you completed section one and two? I yes, think I in my case, no. All right, you need to come, you need to finish it. Um, yeah. Because this week, you need to have completed section three already, right? Okay. Section three section and three. The, and the midterm, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. section three. I had a sort of convenient because I don't know. I had the I think that I had the uh, answer very uh, correct, but the system is very complicated with me because I try to to write it a uh, different way, but they never uh, give me the the answer that I want. For example, that is correct. The check. Uh, the chest color uh, green, right? Right. And so I don't, I don't know, I don't know why the system is, is uh, for me is very um, stress, 
because I don't know how can I write it. Oh, you can write it, right? Got it, got it. No, well, um, no worries about it. What you are going to do is, um, what you are going to do, hold on, guys, Give me one sec. There you go. Um, we're going to go over the answers tomorrow, okay, from section three. Okay, because yeah, what you're saying is it's something that happens to everyone. And uh, I know what you're saying. Sometimes you know the answer is right, but but you know they got a specific specific answer. You know they want a specific answer. You know, it's, it's so so yeah. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, just wait until you get you know until tomorrow. Right, we're gonna go over it together. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, so let's get down to business then, okay? Let's talk about comparing adjectives and nouns together, all right? So um, so, uh, so let's see, right? That's going to be the objective, uh, objective for today, uh, comparing adjectives and nouns. So we're going to have a warm-up. Uh, we're going to get some vocabulary out of the way, and we're going to get the grammar part and some practice, all right? So let's have this warm-up, okay? So let's see. You don't know each other, right? But uh, let's try to guess, okay? Um, so let's see, Julissa, who's who do you think is taller than you here? Diego. Diego is taller than me. I was thinking the same. Diego is taller Diego's... than me too. Okay. All right. How tall are you? How how tall are you, uh, Julissa? I'm one point fifty seven. One fifty seven. All right. What yes, about sir. you? Um. Um. I don't know if it was Morena or yeah, Morena. Right. How, how, what about you, Morena? How tall are you? Um. One point eight five. One fifty-five. Okay, All right. Okay, very good. And Diego, how tall are you? I am one sixty-seven, maybe. One sixty-seven. Okay. So yes, Diego is taller than than you, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And and what are we comparing here? We're we comparing nouns, or are we comparing adjectives? I mean, I mean, are we using adjectives to compare, or are we using nouns to compare? When we say, you know, Adjective. Diego is taller, uh, all right? Adjective. Adjectives, Adjective. right? Adjective. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good, right? So who is more attractive than you? Um, let's see, Diego. Guess, right? Guess who's more attractive than you? Who would you consider uh, to be more attractive than you? I don't know. Uh... For example, I would say Alejandro Ruiz is more attractive than me. Alejandro Ruiz, Ruiz, Ruiz is more attractive than you, okay? Or you can say that, right? Okay. <laughs> Alejandro's reaction. What do you think, Alejandro? Would you consider to be more attractive? No, I appreciate, but I think yeah, it was more attractive than me. <laughs> <laughs> that that's okay. That's that's a very non toxic reaction, right? That's that's very cool from you. All right, thank you. Okay, that would be that would be awesome. Okay, so yes, in this case, right? Are we con are we using nouns or adjectives to compare? Adjectives. All right, it's still adjectives, right? Mm -hmm. What about smarter? Who is smarter than your teacher? Oh, wow. Okay. So, all right. So let's see. Uh, Julissa. No, not Julissa. Morena. Who would you say, right? Who do you consider to be smarter than your teacher? Say uh, nobody, please. <laughs> no, Julissa. Julissa is smarter than, than my teacher. 
Julissa is smarter than your teacher, okay? No. <laughs> All right. Okay. No, yes. I'm so sorry, but I, I need to to read a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. No worries, okay? So, yes, okay. I think Julius is smarter than me, right? Very good. Okay. So, yeah. You know, we can say, uh, so we're, again, guys, we're, we're using adjectives. And the part that tells us that we're using adjectives is this taller, okay. more attractive, right? Attractive, smarter, right? Taller, attractive, this taller, attractive, and smarter are adjectives, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? So let's go over the rules of adjectives, okay? First of all, let's discuss some vocabulary. What is something stressful, guys? What would you consider to be something stressful? Tell me. What is something stressful? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what? The news. The, the news. news. All right, news. Mm -hmm. News are mm -hmm. news is stressful. Yeah. Okay. The news is stressful. Okay, very good. All right, news. Okay, news is stressful. All right. So something else, but but I mean what is the definition of stressful? Something that causes you to be worried, right? Something to cause mm -hmm. something for, that for example. You, uh -huh. For example, for me, something stressful is the traffic jam. The traffic oh yeah, man. Jesus, yeah. Of course. You know, traffic jams, you know, traffic in El Salvador is one of the most stressful things ever, right? Okay, you got it. Okay, that is correct, right? So traffic can be really stressful, all right? I agree. Okay, so, okay, something that makes you worry a lot, right? What about fantastic? What is something fantastic? What is the definition of fantastic? Mm -hmm. it's something, something that is sorry amazing or wonderful for some... something wonderful something something or situation that feels a very good uh, a situation that what I'm sorry um for me teacher is a uh... Something no real, um, that exists only in the imagination. Imagination. Something mm -hmm. no real that exists only in, in the imagination, right? Okay, all right. Sounds good. Sounds very good. Okay, all right. Uh, fascinating, right? Fascinating is something that you really find attractive. You know, something that really uh catches your eye something that really um something that is magical for you you know something absolutely amazing that is fantastic fascinating right um okay difficult repeat guys and i want you to repeat guys because we are not pronouncing this correctly okay people say difficult and that's not difficult. how we pronounce it repeat difficult difficult difficult, difficult. 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 Very good. Difficult. difficult. So what is the definition of difficult? What do you think? Something that is no easy. <laughs> Something, that, Something is... that is no easy and you need to uh, huh? to Practice? effort a little bit more. Okay. Something that is not easy. Something that you have to make an effort to achieve, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something hard to do. All right. Something hard to do. Very to good. Do. Okay. Very good. All right. Now, what about easy? What is easy? So it's okay. 
it's a piece of cake, right? Piece of cake. It's, it's a piece of cake. <laughs> not difficult. Right. Not difficult? Okay. All right. Something not difficult, right? What about something interesting? What's the most interesting thing for you in your life? Yes, go ahead. Yes. Something something interesting is when you discover something obvious that that maybe don't know. Okay, when you discover something that you might not know, okay. To me, it's something that catches your attention. Something that catches your attention, okay. Pretty good. When you discover your own skills. When you discover your own skills. All right, pretty good. Uh, when you discover your own skills. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Okay, all right, let's do it like that, okay? Something interesting, right? It's something that catches your, catches your attention, something that that you really want to know a lot about, right? That is something interesting, right? Something that it's interesting for me, so meaning that's something that I really want to know a lot about, something that I find captivating is um, um, the development of video games, you know? <laughs> That is really interesting for me, or like doing uh, doing extreme sports. That is something that you know, it's captivating for me. You know, all right. And finally, we got something dan uh, dangerous, right? And danger is something that can harm you, physically or emotionally, right? Harm you. What is something dangerous? What would you consider to be something dangerous? Something with a lot of risk. I oh, I love that response, right? Something that has a lot, something that is risky, right? Something that is risky, right? Good job. I like that, right? All right. Do, would you would you consider El Salvador to still be dangerous? Yes, could I be. think so. Could be. <laughs> yes. You think yes. so? <laughs> yes. No, today, 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 right? Um, nowadays, yeah, I think. Yes, it's, yes, dangerous, yes. it's dangerous, but a different way because always we have risk, risk, in, risk in whatever place we, we, we go or in the bus, different places. But not the kind of danger that you know, and the social person. But now maybe um, somebody robbers, or maybe I don't know. But it's dangerous in a different way. I think in a different way, right? You, now I think the police is more dangerous right now, or like the army, right? Soldiers. Um, yes. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Got it. All right, so let's try. So we got some vocabulary. So let's let's use it, right? So we can use adjectives to compare two things or three or more things, right? Now, when we want to compare two things, we are gonna use. Well, we got two rules when comparing adjectives. Okay, we can use er, or you can use more plus the adjective itself, right? What do we mean by this? Okay, so we got an example here. We got um, we got this example that says, all right, who would like to help me read, guys? I forgot how to read. So who would like to help me read? Me too. Okay, go ahead. I am older than, than David. Than David, Al right? Than David, yes. Alicia is more beautiful than Margarita. Very good. Okay, so Alicia is more beautiful than Margarita. All right. So, okay. So, notice something here. Why am I not saying... And, it, guys, let's make mistakes, okay? All right. 
when I ask you something, guys, I do not want you, well, I do not expect you to answer correctly, ¿ok? No piensen que les pregunto para que me den una respuesta correcta. Quiero que se equivoquen, pero que se les quite la pena, ¿ok? ¿Sounds good? All right. Ok. So, my question okay. is, my question is, right, and, and give me wrong answers, that's fine. Why do you think, why am I not saying old, more old? I am more old than David. Why am I saying here more beautiful, but here, why am I not saying I am more old than David? Why or why am I saying, I'm not, am I not saying Alicia is beautifuler than Margarita? Why? What do you think? Mm -hmm. I think um, it's because the adjective is only one uh, sound, syllable, I don't know. Syllable. Syllable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, very good answer. You are right. We can have, we can still have words or adjectives with two syllables and we can use ER. But yeah, you're very close to the actual answer. Okay. All right. So yeah, let me explain something to you real quick. Now, some of you know this already, right? Because this is something that you've seen previous uh, chapters. But here's the thing. Give me, you know, describe your teacher, right? Let's describe teacher David, okay? So give me adjectives for your teacher. Give me any adjectives, okay? It doesn't matter. You can invent. Intelligent. No, All right, intelligent. Okay, what else? Jungle. Proactive. Proactive. So, hold on. We got jungle. You said jungle? Ungla. Jungle. Don't me. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Jungle. Don't, don't don't me. Than you. <laughs> oh, yeah, young. Oh, maybe young. Jung. Uh -huh. young. young. Repeat, guys. Young. 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 No, young. guys. Young. Guys, young. You, you're saying, you're saying young. this. You're saying, you're saying, you're saying, you're saying junk. No, guys, Junk. this, this, okay, listen, listen, pay attention. <coughs> this sound, this sound right here. How do we pronounce this? How, what is the you. sound that it makes? No, what is the you. sound that it makes? Why? No, the sound, the sound. You. Why? No, you. guys. No. Sound. You. you. That sound that it makes. For example, guys. If I have if I, if I have this, what is the sound that this makes? How do you read this? E. Exactly, guys. <laughs> this is called a semi-vowel because it sounds exactly as, as this vowel. Okay. So how do we pronounce okay. this? E. 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 Right. Okay. So. Young. Young. Exactly. So when we pronounce young, young guys, it's read like this. Uh. Young. 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 Okay. Exactly. Young. Okay. Do not say young. This is young. John. Repeat John. 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 And John. this is young. 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 All right. Very yes. different sounds, right? Somebody somebody tell tell that when that person was learned uh, this language. Um when the teacher said, when you say example, you have to say L, like, like a L, 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 L. And so they use different sound or pronoun the correct sound, the, the properly said, the properly word. For example, example, and he has to say as L, L. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, kind of, all right, kind of, but um, but good job. I just wanted to teach you how to pronounce what the difference between 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 the Y sound, right, and the J sound is. Thing is, these people mispronounce it. You're saying Jung, and Jung is very different than Young, right? For example, it's not Jess, Jess, no, it's Yes, like that. Yes, yes. exactly. All right. So what else? What else do we have? What are their adjectives? I said proactive. 
Oh, proactive, right? So we got proactive, okay. Proactive, what else? Tall. Tall, all right. So let's go with tall. All right, what else? What else do we have? Friendly. Friendly, okay. So we are going to go with friendly. All right. Now, oh, by the way, be, uh, so before we continue, I'd like you to understand something, okay? So I'd like you to tell me if there are long or short adjectives, okay? So intelligent is a long, long adjective, right? So we're going to long adjectives, and we're going to call these short adjectives, okay? All right, so we got young, we got tall, we got intelligent, we got proactive, right? Okay, what else do we have? Mm -hmm. What other adjectives? Smart. Friendly. Okay, smart. we're going to go with friendly. Okay, so we got mm -hmm. smart. Now, friendly, should we put it in long adjectives or short adjectives? Friendly. Friendly, a long adjective. Long. Friendly. Long. Okay, right. So we're going to put them in here, right? Friendly. All right, what about smart, uh, smart right? Smart. In, in short um, or long adjectives? Yeah. Smart. Yes. Short. Short. Short, right? Short Very adjectives. Nice. All right, good job. Uh, okay, what else do we have? Um, graceful. Graceful, okay, graceful. Graceful is very, uh, is, is very religious, you know? <laughs> it's yeah. a very religious <laughs> word. Graceful, so graceful, is that short or long? It's long. Long. All right, so we got graceful, right? Good show. Good. One Tell question. me. Tell me. What is the difference in intelligent and smart? It's the same. All there right. is no difference. Mm -hmm. and clever too, the same. And what? Clever. You mean clever? Yes, I think clever, clever. Clever, no, clever, clever is, yeah, clever is when you are, um, clever is when you are a, intelligent in the sense of uh being quick a, a quick thinker clever mm. is being a quick thinker yes it's like saying astuto oh, really? yes clever is it short or long short oh, short. short short okay all right what else I need more adjectives, long, long and short. Easy going. Easy going. Well, easy going is composed, but yeah, easy, easy For going, two. right? Mm -hmm. So they're easy going, right? Very good. What else? Strong. What do you think? And a short adjective. All right. So we got strong. All right, so we got strong. Okay, what else? Mm -hmm. Sad, big. short adjective too. Sad. Big. Big? Big. All right. So we got big, right? That is short, right? Short. short. Okay, what else do we have? Nice. Small. Nice, right? Nice. Small. Okay, we got small. All right, give me long adjectives. Handsome. Handsome, okay, we're gonna go with handsome. All right, handsome. What else? What else is long here? Powerful. Powerful, right, I powerful. wish I was powerful. Powerful. All right. That's that's our Theo get it, right? Very good. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. 
Delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna go with delicious. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. They, they are just examples, right? So no worries. It's just funny. All right. So now what what um what difference do you see here? What is the difference? Why why are these small? What makes them small? Oh, I got one for you. All, all, all word and ending in consonant. Um. Okay. That that I have never noticed that. You're right, but I have never noticed that. All right. So. Okay. So. All right. So we got. I got some things good that I, I assure you. Some of you, I know that some of you might might know a lot of the rules already, but I assure you that I can that I can teach you something that you didn't know. I have a quick question for you, for everybody. Okay, it's okay. You can make mistakes, right? Just participate. So fun is that short? Should we place it on the long adjectives or or the short ones? Short, short, short. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay. What about funny? Short, long. Short. Short. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. Whenever we have something like long adjectives, and and think think about the number of syllables, right? Intelligent. Yes. How many syllables do we have? Four. Intelligent. We got four. Proactive. What about proactive? Three. Four. Active. What about friendly? Friendly. Two. Friendly. Two. What about graceful? Three. Graceful. Two. What about easygoing? Easy. Going. What about handsome? Handsome. What about powerful? Three. Two. Two. Three. Powerful. Three. What about delicious? Three. We got three. Delicious, Four. right? Three. Delicious, three. right? Very good. What about young? How many do we have? One. One. Tall? One. 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 Smart? Smart. One. 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 Clever? Two. Two. Mm. Strong? One. 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 Big, one. One nice, one. Small, one. Fun, one. one. Funny, two. 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 Um. Don't you notice something suspicious here, guys? I don't know. Tell me something that doesn't make too much sense here. Hmm. Clever and funny. Um, Very good. So we got clever and funny, right? Yes, clever and funny are what? I'm sorry. Have two syllables. Very good. So we got two syllables here. Okay. I like that. I like it. Okay. Right. Two syllables. Okay. All right. All right, so so time for the surprise, okay? So when we have long adjectives, we are going to use more, okay? He is more intelligent, and usually, usually, not all the times, so right? We're going to pair this with then. More intelligent than, right? So we're going to say proactive. We're going to say more what are we going to say? More proactive than. We're going to say more proactive than. Very good. Okay. Uh, what about friendly? What are we going to say with friendly? More friendly than. More friendly than. Okay. Very good. All right. Now, um, 
Okay, so what about uh, what about graceful? We're gonna say what? More graceful than. Right. We're gonna say more graceful than. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. I think you're getting the idea now, right? So for long adjectives, right? For long adjectives, we are using, you know, more graceful than, and so on and so forth, right? So I'd like to ask you something. What, what do we do with uh, short adjectives? Mm -hmm. We need to add ER at the end or... E S T at the end. We need to add E R at the youngest. end or E S T, right? So we say mm -hmm. younger, youngest, no, younger, not youngest, youngest, right? Younger, taller, taller, smarter, mm -hmm. clever, Never. right? Stronger. 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 Stronger, bigger. Okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I told you that I was going to give you a surprise. Man, I just want to erase this part right here, but it's impossible. All right. So I told you that I was going to give you a surprise, right? So, yeah, you can say he's younger than, right? Younger than, taller, smarter, clever. clever. Stronger. Clever, right? Sorry, right? Uh, stronger, bigger, bigger, nicer, smaller. What about the last two? Funny, funny, funnier, 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 funnier. Okay, so funnier. And what about this? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> funny. More funny. Uh, more funny. Funnier. More funny? <laughs> yeah, more funny then. All right. So I'm going to... These are bad boys, okay? And these two. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about clever first. Clever follows no rules. So you can say... You can say he is more clever or you can say he is clever. Did you know that? You can say no. both, right? You can say he's okay. more clever or he is clever. Right? Okay. Now this one is this one is fun. I want you guys to go to Google and tell me if these two words are the same thing. Tell me what one tell me the difference between them two, okay? What is the difference? The one is the bear. The what, I'm sorry? The first one is the bear. Mm -hmm. And the funny first, is an adjective. The first one is a verb. Fun, fun is, so, so fun is a verb? I think fun so. Fun is a noun. Funny is a noun, okay. All right, funny is a noun. Okay, so it's not an adjective, so so I cannot no, say. No, fun is an adjective. So I cannot say he's fun. My God, you're getting me confused. Mm -hmm. And how is fun no, a verb? Can I, I say I, I am? I am funny. Can I say I am funny? You are funny. He is funny. Can I say that? No. So it I'm getting confused. Fun. Teach me. Teach me because I don't know. Fun is for situations. No. Mm, what do you find? Oh, a, 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 a party is, is funny. Hmm. Okay. It's or is fun. For me, it's fun and a person's are funny. So can I not say 
that a person is fun? <laughs> Tell me. Fun only fun. No, no, the syringe in all right, it's not a big deal, guys. I'm gonna teach you, okay? No <laughs> worries. No worries, okay? Guys, these are not the same words, okay? Funny is something that makes you laugh. It's gotta make you laugh, okay? Mm -hmm. It's an adjective, mm -hmm. right? So you can say, Diego, let's say David, right? David is funny because he is a clown, okay? I can say this, right? This is haha, -ha, right? It makes you laugh, mm -hmm. okay? This makes you laugh, okay? But when I say, but now, can I say, can I say, David is fun? Can I say this? David is fun? No. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 It's yes. a noun. Yes. Oh, it's a noun. Yes. It's a noun. Listen, it's a noun. Listen, listen. It's an adjective. It's also a noun, but it's also it's an adjective. In this case, it's an adjective. Fun is also an adjective. Okay. Now, when I say fun, I don't. Fun is not something that makes you laugh okay that is not fun i can say roller coasters mm -hmm. roller coasters are fun but i cannot say roller coasters are funny mm -hmm. no. the reason why you are getting why why you are getting confused is because you're thinking in spanish if you say están pensando en español porque la palabra Divertido significa también que te hace reír en español, pero no en inglés. Got it? So when you say okay. roller coasters are fun, fun, that means that they're very interesting, that they 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 are very exciting. Okay? It's enjoyable. Enjoyable, exactly. Exactly. Enjoyable. Right? I like that word. That is perfect. Okay? Enjoyable. Enjoyable, right? Perfect word, man. Perfect. And when we say funny, right, roller coasters are not funny because they don't they do not make you laugh, right? Comedy, right? Comedy is funny. Right? Because this means, you know, that something that makes you laugh. Got it? Okay. And this is even crazy because what is the comparative of funny? What do you think the comparative of funny is? Of funny. Is it more funny or funnier? Funnier. Funnier. Okay, all right. So the comparative of funny is funnier, right? Very good. All right, so we're going to say funnier. But what about fun? Is it funnier too? Yes. No. And this it's not like part. clever. It's actually more fun. Mm. Oh, more fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not sure. All right. So you you can say he is more fun than you. Mm. And that is a correct sentence, okay? He means means he's more enjoyable, more interesting, right? Than you. And when we say he is more funny than you, is this correct? He's more funny than you? No. No, we need to no. say he's funnier, funnier than you. This means that that person makes you laugh more than the other person, right? Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Those are crazy things from English, okay? So in both scenarios, in both scenarios, you can say younger, and then you can say than, or more intelligent than, okay? 
So do me a favor. I want everybody to take a screenshot of these examples, okay? And you're gonna create sentences. Again, you're gonna give me 10 sentences with uh, long adjectives and 10 sentences with small adjectives comparing, okay? So you can compare a lot of things. You can say Zelda, right, the David game, is more fun than hanging out with friends. <laughs> I don't know, right? Whatever you want, be creative, okay? But I want 10 examples with whatever, with, with short adjectives and 10 examples with long adjectives in couples, okay? okay. Sounds good? All right, yeah. so take a screenshot and send it to the group and let's work on the examples. All right. Okay. Very good, guys and girls. Let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. All right. All right, let's join, sir. Luis Carranza, let's join. Hello. Hola. Hello. You ready to make 10 sentences? Yes, I'm going to try. Uh, okay. We're going to make together or alone? No, together because that is the purpose. I think that uh, join with a group, I think, because if you understand, I'm going to explain. If I don't understand, you explain or maybe a uh, made some ideas All right. with the ideas with the teacher ideas gave us we're going I to think. say the same adjective we have to use the same right oh. it's more easy i think so this we can use in the same yeah, the, the, that's why they took a pic, no. I got it, the picture is the, the first one is intelligent. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Let me guard the... Okay. Uh, Do you have an idea, idea, Julio, with the intelligent? A little bit. Okay, yes. say it, say it. He said we're going to use the adjective for play the last one example. For example, your name is Morena. Okay. Yeah. Well, Morena mm -hmm. is more intelligent. The, Lichin Dan Julio. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think so. Is he wants to read about the adjective? Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, To give me other one? Uh, yeah, another okay. one. Just, 
Julissa is younger than Julio. Right. Mm, are taller than Tasumal? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. More to that. Uy. No, but yeah, the other. The, color, sorry. The the Eiffel Tower is more more what? It's mm, more higher bigger than my house. Higher, more higher than than. An earth tower? Mm. More higher than... Remember that you cannot say more higher, it's just higher or more high? High. H-I-G-H-E-R. Okay. Yes, right? but he said that we can say just more high or higher. Exactly. One of those. Ah, okay is higher than okay higher than i will say my house because i don't know anything about towers mm -hmm. then And for example, uh, Cerebro is more intelligent than Pinky. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Uh huh. A cartoon. Yeah. Bigger. Bigger. Um, bigger, big, um. I would like to say US a slide <laughs> a slide of pizza from Pizza Hut. It's more <laughs> bigger than a slide of pizza from <laughs> Little Caesars. I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can say I am hungrier than I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> We can compare um to countries to US is bigger yes. than Mexico, for example. Yes. Looks like we can... What is the next one? Um Delicious. <laughs> um, uh, tacos, Mexican food. No, we have to say pupusas. Pupusas. Delicious than tacos. Than tacos, okay. Are more. <laughs> It's pupusa. <laughs> it's more delicious than beef. 
I have I have one with friendly. My dog is more friendly than my cat. An yeah. issue. If it's a husky, you can say husky's dogs are more friendly than pit bulls. <laughs> Chihuahuas. Than Chihuahua. <laughs> All dogs are more friendly than Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have them. All right, let's go Damn. back now, okay? Okay, got it. All right, so guys, I heard your examples really good. Uh, remember one thing that I noticed uh, from some of you guys is that you were combining more and the ER version. Remember that you cannot do that. It's only, you can only say bigger, right? Or more intelligent, but you cannot say more intelligent or more bigger, right? That doesn't exist. It's only one or the other one, okay? And you gotta use the right one, okay? But you did a very good job. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, remember that I always upload the class to the YouTube channel. If you want to review, you know, uh, things that we learn in class. Um, do we have any questions before we leave? No, we didn't. All right. No. So tomorrow we're going to go over the section number three. Please complete the platform, guys, up all the way until section number three, okay? Okay. Thank you very okay. much, guys. Have a good, have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye.